Hi guys, this is a video to show you how to solve the problem of scales for the displacement between Maya and between ZBrush and I think that uh, this workflow will work in pretty much every uh, 3D packages or every rendering packages. So for this, for this demonstration I will use Maya and Arnold but you will be able to use like V-Ray or uh, your favorite rendering packages because this workflow is kind of similar between uh, between different rendering engines. So let's start with having a look at the model inside of Maya. So this is a, a picture that I'm currently rendering inside of Maya uh, just to show you how, how detailed is my model. So those are the details that I get using the scale right out of ZBrush. So just exporting everything without uh, touching the value like scales or uh, displacement value. So I can see that I have a lot of details, a lot of fine details on my model. So I can see the scale that are not present on my low poly mesh. So this is my low poly mesh. And all the details that I have, all the scales are coming right away from the uh, displacement value. So this is with the old displacement that I get exporting things right away out of ZBrush. But something that I can see in my scene is that the scale of my model is not right. So if I have a look at the, uh, at the scales at the value of Maya, I can see that here my model is 20 centimeters, so one square is one centimeter in Maya. So my model is 20 centimeter high. So this is not correct. So something that I may want to do is take, taking uh, this model. So let's just uh, stop the rendering. So okay, it has been stopped. So maybe something that I would like to do would be to take my model and just scale it up until I get the right real size um, scale for it. But the problem doing this will be that I will lose the information for my uh, displacement. So if I have a look um, at the second group. So this is a group for the original, uh, original displacement, original scale out of ZBrush. And the second one is a group for the scale that has been corrected. So I have just one shader that is connected to both objects, to both of my objects. And those shaders are um, just uh, I standard. And if I open my, hop, my hyper shade, something that I can see is that I have the um, displacement that is connected here directly into my shading group. So something that I would be expected from this scene is that if I have the same displacement that is connected onto both of my objects, I should get the same result. And if I have a look at how this displacement is reacting on the model that has been scaled up. So let's just open the render to see how it behaves. So let's start with the IPR. Just waiting for Arnold to calculate the information for the displacement and subdivision before we can see the new picture, the new render. And then if I zoom in inside of my um, inside of my scene, something that I can see is that all the information, all the displacement for the scale uh, vanished. So they disappeared because that the information that I have is in this, on this new model are not correct anymore. So the information that I will get from the displace, displacement value. So if I'm opening the displacement inside of, uh, inside of Nuke, I will see that the information are not working for the, um, for the new model. So something that I'd like to do will be to 
find back the right information for my displacement. So how to do that? So we will just open the brush for now. And this is the model that has been exported with the old, um, with the old displacement value, with the old uh, scale. So I will just select uh, the, low, the low poly mesh. So this is my low definition mesh. And something that I want to do is to export it with the basic information or with the uh, initial information out of ZBrush. So I will go into the subtool palette, go into the export tab. And then in the export tab, I will just uh, set the scale to one. So with the original value, set the offset, all of the offset to zero. And then, so uncheck the group option. And then I will just export my model right out of ZBrush. So let's name it body old scale. And then I will go back in Maya and open back this, uh, import back this model into Maya. So I will go into my custom palette and just import a new OBJ. So my OBJ will be in the correct displacement folder in Maya scene. Let's find back this one. Okay. This one just open in like this. And this will be what uh, my model will look like. So you can see that this model is way smaller than the original one and uh, than the new one, the new one with the correct scale. So something that I want to do is to scale it up so it will match to the size of my old object. So I just have to select this, mod this model. Maybe something that I can do if I don't want to uh, scale up directly the geometry uh, modifying the transform information would be to just put this model inside of a group hitting control G. And then I will scale up my group until this model will match the new one. something like this. And maybe after that, I can adjust just a little bit the value here. So just reduce them. All together to something like uh, 9.5002. And I think that it matches pretty well. So if my model uh, from this moment is matching the old one, so right now I will get an information for uh, the scale values that I should export out of ZBrush. So I know that I scale up my model f by uh, nine and five times. So something that I want to, to uh, do in ZBrush will be to export those information so ZBrush will be export to uh, will be able to export the new displacement with the right uh, value with the right time with the right uh, amount. So go back. I will go back in ZBrush and in the scale value here I will put nine point five for the export option. And this is really cool in ZBrush. So, so once you uh, set it for just one of the objects that you got in your sub tools list in your scene, uh, this value will be the same one for all of the different objects that you got in your scenes. For example, something that I did in this scene was to cut out, to split out all of the parts, all of the um, idioms of my object. So I was able to like, uh, get more value, get more polygons for each ob object and get more um, polygons to, to sculpt on. So once I will have the 
export scale that has been corrected, something that I want to do is to export back the information for the displacement. So I would just have to go back into uh, selecting my, my right subtool. So I will export the uh, UDIM, the first UDIM for my object. Then I will go into the plugin. So I just locked the the plugin palette into my uh, interface here. I will go into the multi-map exporter palette and I will try to export the displacement right, uh, right again. So let's select the displacement first. Then go into the displacement map option and those are the values that I'm using uh, most of the time. So I will just smooth out uh, the smooth or the UVs. Export a 30 bit, 32 bits displacement and EXR. So you can use EXR or a TIFF. And then set the scale to one and the intensity to zero. So let's try to export this first object and see how the displacement is uh, displaying inside of um, inside of Nuke. So let's create all maps. So I will create all the map into my source image folder and create a new folder with the new disp maps and hit the save option. So the maps for uh, my first study has been exported, so I will be able to have a look at them. So let's open back Nuke. So this was the first uh, information that I get in Nuke. So just having a look at the uh, first map. And let's just uh, drag and drop the new displacement information. So I will just use the uh, first UDIM, this one here, next to the old one. So you can see from now the display the information, the value for the displacement are way uh, more intense. Uh, the value are not the same as before. So I can get that the information will be uh, more correct and the new displacement map that has been exported. So because I think that the information has been corrected uh, thanks to the new value that I get inside of the brush, so thanks to the new scale value, I will be able to export all of the other uh, sub tool, all, the, all of the other UDIM that I get on, on this model here. So I will just export all the maps and then get back into Maya and try again this new displacement. Okay, so we now have our new map that has been exported. So let's try to render them inside of Maya. So we will just go back inside of Maya, select the models that we uh, scaled up just to get an idea of the new scale. So those are, this is the new scale value, but we don't want to keep this new model. We just, we can delete it. And we will have a look at the, um, at this one, this one that has been scaled up inside of Maya and we will try to render with the new displacement. So in order to make the displacement working correctly, we just want to select our model. Let's go in the attributes palette. Let's, uh, we want to be sure that inside of the Arnold palette, inside of the Arnold lab, we have the subdivision that has been set correctly. So the subdivision are set to four into cat, cat Clark mode, um, smooth tangent, pin corner and the autobum value has been checked out. So this model is ready to render within, uh, within Arnold. We just want to replace the old displacement map with the new one. 
So just to refresh your memory about how it looks right now, so we will have a look all together at this model together. So let's try to render it within the perspective view. So this is still not working correctly because we are using the old displacement information. So let's stop this render and I will go into the hyper shade and have a look at the um, the shader of my model. So this is the original shader with the original displacement. So we'll create one new displacement. So just delete this connection here go in the displacement material of my shading group and create a file here. So let's use a file. So I will rename this file, this uh, displacement node, ZBrush new displacement. and select the file, select the new files here. So uh, I go in the file node, go in the ima image name, new disp and select the new displacement maps. Just hit open. And then I will ask Maya to tile it uh, using the Udim tag. tag. Also double check that you are uh, using the color space row. And then let's try to render it again. So Arnold will uh, start to convert the new EXR into T TX format in order to, uh, to use them for the rendering and in order to take less time for it to render. And this is it. Uh, we get back the uh, information for the displacements that we had inside of ZBrush. So if we move along this object, we can see that we get all the information that we had before. We can find back all the scales. We, we can find back all of the ring wrinkles that has been sculpted inside of ZBrush. So this is a way for you to find back the uh, right information. If you need to scale up your model inside of Maya because um, at some point you wanted to have more, a more correct shader. So in order to have a correct shader, you're better uh, using real size world units inside of Maya. So in order to do that, you may want to re-export your displacement out of ZBrush. So I hope that you enjoyed this video, guys. I would like to thank uh, Mamed El Mazoud and Capsule Studio for uh, leaving me using these models that I did for them. See you in the next video, guys.